This is probably going to be one of the most difficult videos that I make because I'm going to do something in solidarity or in protest for a, I don't know if he's a YouTuber, I don't know who he is, but he also plays or played Warframe. Just to let everybody know, all of my viewers know that this is not easy for me. I've put a lot of work and time into this game. I've had friends who have gone out of their way to pay good money for a lot of skins that I owned on this game. And basically it's the game that has given me the opportunity of having more, more subscribers and possibly even more viewers. And I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete the game in protest to what DE has done in terms of being fascists because they are fascists a gamer or I guess you can look him up on Twitter who goes by hold on here I'm looking him up is that okay a a, uh, a partner a former partner from uh, Warframe you can look him up on Twitter he goes by Dogman Dan I don't know who he is but I've seen his tweets turns out that he's been playing this game for five years and because he decided to retweet something related to all the civil unrest that we've been witnessing on TV or even here on YouTube he decided to retweet something over this particular victim whose last name goes by Floyd basically what the tweet said was that George Floyd was not a model citizen to the point where people should be doing what they're doing by rioting and looting and hurting other people and causing problems. I'm not talking about the protesters. I'm talking about the rioters and the looters. All he did was retweet it. And if you look up, uh, you know, George Floyd, you're going to see that he has a pretty large criminal record. So he was not a model citizen. It was unfair. It was unjustified. It was grotesque. What happened to him at the hands of the so-called law enforcement? I saw the video. I thought it was very sad. It was a humiliating feeling of seeing another human being once again being victimized by those who are sworn to protect us. Look, I have no problem with protests. It's within our constitutional right. Look it up. Look up the Constitution. We're protected by the Constitution to have protests. Nowhere does it say anything about rioting and looting and hurting and harming others. This guy, Dogman Dan, all he did was retweet something and he was removed from the partner program at Warframe because they consider what he retweeted to be insensitive. They even sent them a DM telling him that he was no longer a part of it. And so I think it's insanely unfair that they would do something like this because I don't know about you, but video game developers and, you know, companies should be politically impartial. They should not have any say when it comes to political issues, whether they be social or etc. They have no reason to get involved. And I also mean that with Activision and the bullshit they're pulling with, uh, with uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. DE supposedly said that they were going to be donating $25,000 to the Black Lives Matter kind of initiative, I guess you could call it, which is kind of stupid and ironic because, number one, they're based in Canada. Number two, what the fuck do they care? Number three, the same things that are happening here are happening, but worse in Hong Kong, where 65% of their shareholders are based in Hong Kong. It's a company named Li Yu. Go ahead and look it up. I'm not lying. 65% of DE's, uh, you know, uh, business is owned in Hong Kong. 
which is kind of ironic considering that Hong Kong right now is facing annihilation of their culture and freedom due to the bastards in China. Yes, I said bastards in China. And I don't mean the people of China, I mean, you know, Xi Jinping and his communist regime. These people are going through a lot right now, and the only thing DE can focus on is yet another fad. Because that's what it is, people. It's just another social fad. Because if these so-called BLMs really gave a fuck about each other, they would be going to the first Planned Parenthood facility in their neighborhood and tag BLM all over it. Because we already know what the largest amount of people who are aborted are. And it is black babies. So, you know, to the people at BLM, you're no better than Antifa. You're just common criminals looking for an excuse to cause problems. Okay, and I don't mean that because of your color. I mean that because of your actions. Martin Luther King said it himself. Okay. I am not judging you based on the color of your skin, but the caliber of your character. You want to protest BLM? Go to a Planned Parenthood facility. See if you guys have the balls to go there. Or maybe you can't because it'll just defeat your agenda and having promiscuous unprotected sex. I mean, that's basically what it is. I don't know about you, but I think that's what it is. But anyways, I think it's unfair what this, this uh, guy went through, having... DE humiliating him in, in this kind of way removing him from the partner program and also his glyph because he had a glyph in the within the game they removed his glyph they removed him from the partner program five years that he supposedly spent playing this fucking game and it was for nothing because he had an opinion by retweeting something that he agreed with DE are a bunch of fascist pigs that don't allow other people to think for themselves. They are a Gestapo style like treehouse club run by immature brats. That's what DE is. Unfortunately the majority of the people that play this game are also fascists because if they agree with what DE did to this one guy and not using any common sense and thinking for themselves then that says a lot about them as well. So I for one I am proclaiming my protest of the fascism from DE of this certain individual by deleting the game and probably even later even my account unless they don't issue an apology to this man I will not be downloading the game I will not be playing the game I will not be doing anything of any sort of the game I will not even be showing any more images of the game or talking about the game in any way whatsoever I've had a problem with DE since day one when I started noticing certain things about them that I did not approve of okay and I'm pretty sure there are no fans of, I'm pretty sure that they are there are no fans of me either I'm pretty sure that they've seen a lot of my videos as well and they don't agree with me which is why they send their bots to talk shit to me. But, this is Toxic Avenger, and I am toxic according to all these shills. I will be coming up with more videos that you can enjoy and watch over my honest and unfiltered opinions, because unlike those who are monetized because you don't want to lose their precious monetization money and their sponsors, Talking to you, the quartering, uh, Jer uh, Jeremy at the quartering. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna censor myself because then I'd be giving in to the tyrannical, fascist ideo ideology. So with that, I'm gonna show you. I couldn't record uh, me. I couldn't actually record footage of uh, my deleting Warframe. So the only thing I could do is just take still shots. But this is how uh, this is how dedicated I am on fighting fascism from those who claim fight fascism, even though they're <laughs> they're the fascists, <laughs> not getting not not letting people have opinions on anything because, like I said, d video game developers are supposed to be impartial. They're not supposed to show allegiance on any political, you know, uh. uh front of any kind they should have just stayed the fuck out of this and let things handle themselves 
but if DE wants to go in that direction and they want to all of a sudden start virtual signaling people the way that many other developers have then I guess this is my protest to DE it's been fun I guess at some point I don't know but time to say goodbye I will no longer be playing your game nor will I allow others to play your game this is it for you and I hope that everybody that sees this video if you don't agree that's fine if you agree please leave a like and share this make it viral because we need more people to start showing these fascists with money these <laughs> I don't know I don't know what else to call them that I haven't already called them but you know these 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 uh, game developers really need to stay the fuck out of issues that they shouldn't be on in the beginning because they're game developers not political mon mon uh, moderators they're game developers so make games don't get involved stay the fuck out of it you make games so that we can forget our day-to-day -day issues just so that you can get involved fuck that fuck you de and, oh and before i sign off let me just tell you right now the hypocrisy behind the people that work at de uh... megan the redhead uh... when you name your kavat chairman mao after mao sang tong a man responsible for a communist country that had killed millions of innocent people that says a lot about you as a person so fuck you de Fuck their fascism. Fuck their censoring of other people. Think for yourselves. Don't let them. Do not let them brainwash you into thinking that they're the good guys. Because they are not. Every step taken by any game developer, TV show, celeb, and politician in regards to censoring you from keeping you in speaking your, your mind are exercising the very the very same practice that the Nazis used back in 1938 when Hitler had his campaign to control Germany don't believe me look it up here's a name that you can use Dr. Joseph Goebbels okay you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and what you see right now is what the Nazis did thank you very much for watching this was toxic adventure